Well, that's the idea. Uh, what what, what um, Krauss was popularizing in his little book, Universe from Nothing, it was one of the two main models of what is called quantum cosmology. The idea that we can explain the universe uh, out of nothing physical by reference to some underlying quantum mechanical laws of gravitation. So Stephen Hawking famously said that there is a law such as gravity uh, explains why uh, there is uh, something rather than nothing, you know, why the universe came into existence. But the, the, it, the, the, what's not stated there is that the nothing, uh, oh yeah, the, is not really nothing. It's the laws of, you know, that there is a law such as gravity explains how you could get the universe to create itself from nothing. Well, if there are laws of gravity, then that's not nothing. Right, so if the laws are explaining how you get from nothing to something, then you have, that presupposes that there are, the, are those laws. And the laws are mathematical in character, and that really exposes an even deeper paradox for the quantum cosmologist, because as Alexander Vilenkin pointed out, who is one of the other great advocates of quantum cosmology, and whose work Krauss was popularizing, he, he pointed out that, 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 that the uh, mathematical equations and the mathematical equations we use to express those quantum physical laws are conceptual. That, that math exists in the realm of the mind. And so what these quantum cosmologists ultimately are arguing is that matter and energy emerge out of a conceptual realm of math which necessarily implies pre, a pre-existing mind to think the math, to think the ideas, the, the mathematical ideas. And so they've invented quantum cosmology to get around the theistic implications of the standard Big Bang theory. The, and it's, it's, it's affirmation that there was a beginning to the physical universe of matter, space, time, and energy before which there was no matter that could do the causing of the universe. You see the problem. Um, and they saw the problem too. And so they, they, they developed this other model, but so, First of all, they did not end up getting rid of the beginning. In all the quantum cosmological models, there's still what's called the singularity at the beginning. But their explanation for the origin of the universe out of the singularity is a pre-existing mathematical reality that could only have reality if there was a pre-existing mind. And so they're, in their attempt to circumvent the theistic argument, sometimes called the cosmological argument, they ended up showing that if you adopt a different cosmological model, you still end up having inadvertently you, you, you end up reaffirming the, the need for information, the basically. need for well, information, mind, but also a mind, a mind, a, a mind behind the yeah, universe. Yeah.